everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you wanted to join me today because today I'm coming to you from a hotel room in Germany. Yesterday I took the train to Hamburg and it was a six hour train ride. It was so incredibly lovely. It wasn't actually your yesterday because time. Um, but I was invited here by ACI, which is Airports Council International, and they are going to take me on a guided tour through Hamburg Airport. The reason why they're doing this is because Hamburg Airport is part of a sustainability program that aims towards a carbon neutral airport. And I think that sounds pretty cool. It's about recycling efforts and green energy and green spaces. So I am hoping that I'm going to be enlightened by some of these initiatives. As I just said before, I still took the train because I obviously still believe that if you have the option to travel without plane travel, you should definitely, definitely do that. However, I still want to include the sustainable efforts of an airport on this channel because I do think some people do not have the option to travel by train for one reason or another. It's very important that everyone gets engaged in sustainability in some way or form because we cannot afford not to anymore. And I also made a travel journal about my first day in Hamburg. You can go and watch that as well. Let's go and do this. So now I am going to see the power and heat plant here at Hamburg Airport. And let's be real, it's not really something I understand a lot about, but I do appreciate sustainability efforts. And I have heard that this power heat plant is sort of alterable, so there is no energy or heat wasted. And depending on the time of the day or time of the year, it produces different sorts or different amounts of heat and energy, which is quite cool. So there's really nothing wasted. And nothing wasted is sort of the key word here that we're looking for. So the service cars at Hamburg Airport are gradually stepping away from petrol and diesel, isn't that yeah. right? And there are more and more electric cars here. Yes, that's right. And uh, that is what we are trying to do. Uh, we, we try to, to replace um, all the cars which used to be operated um, on the basis of diesel um, or um, normal petrol to, to um, either natural gas um, or electricity with uh, electricity being the more important fuel or energy uh, form we use for the future. And you told me as well that you have replaced the uh, replacement engine or the second engine in some of the airplanes and you're using uh, your own heat yeah. and power plant yes. instead and that saved you 15 tons of CO2. To yes, that is something we do. We we didn't replace the APU itself, of course, uh, because it's it, it's a part of, of of the aircraft. But we replace okay, yeah. the operations. The operations uh, is yes, the APU. Yes, we, we, the degree of efficiency is comparably low. Um, it ranges only about at at about uh, 25 percent. It could be replaced by uh, delivering electricity and air condition to the airport uh, aircraft um, by. Um, by, by the airport itself. So that means for us that we can um, have the airplanes mm. here having their um, APUs turned off and we supply them with electricity, with air conditioning, with anything they require. And then uh, we reduce the amount of uh, fuel used here. So I would never have believed that this is at an airport. Yeah. <laughs> have like a bonfire and just a shed this is this is very cool so the airport is is over here and these trees that are over here are uh, replacement trees and because Hamburg as I said in my travel walk Hamburg is really really green and has lots of plants and trees everywhere so whenever you cut a tree down you have to replace it somehow in order for the city and the entire area not to go completely barren. These trees were planted 20 years ago as replacement trees for the trees that were cut down during the uh, during the uh, uh, construction. Yes, words. These are insect strips or bee strips and Hamburg Airport planted these in order to get food for honeybees and other insects. Same with the bee hotel. 
And I know these efforts are quite small, but I should really appreciate seeing them and having them brought into the light. Thank you so much for this Thank talk. You. I've been so happy to have been shown around here. So this has been really, really cool. We have seen engines and plants and we have seen flowers and insect sanctuaries, which is really cool. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. There's more to come. Yeah. <laughs> so I am at lunch after this really, really insane guided, guided tour. I have obtained a lot of information and I am so hungry. I wanted there to be more pictures, but I just ended up completely absorbing this pizza. But I wanted to give Hamburg Airport a shout out for the use of reusable plates, cutlery and glass. I am there for this. So I finally get to use my stainless steel container for leftovers. I could not eat the entire thing. So I am going to save this in my bag and then possibly eat it late this afternoon. I just finished my tour of the airport. It was a really, really cool experience. Not something I had thought I would ever do. Um, but I just changed hotels because I only had the other hotel for one night. So now I'm here at this hostel and it's an eight bed place, but I'm the only one here. So hence the filming. Um, but I thought I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about what I experienced and what it all means. And do I suddenly think it is okay to just plane travel everywhere? Of course not. I accepted the offer from Air Council International to come and see their efforts to minimize carbon and the carbon footprint, which is something that I really, really appreciate. Some of the things that I saw today really made me hopeful that there is a lot of people trying their absolute best to improve the conventional ways of airplanes. I didn't really expect there to be that much green and that sort of attentiveness towards animal life and insect life and bees' well-being well-being caught it I think it's really cool that so many initiatives put into the practice of flying and stuff that we as consumers don't even realize or don't even see so it was cool to hear about how they utilize their heat and their power and energy in a more efficient manner and how they use electric cars for these small distances how they uh, optimize the APU. I think it's cool that these practices are something that we discuss and reflect upon and it's cool that I am able to show you guys that this is something that happens. <laughs> I hope you guys like this video. If you did leave it a thumbs up and let us discuss what is up here. I think this was something I would not personally have chosen to talk about if I hadn't been invited and I learned a lot so <laughs> woohoo! Um, Leave me a comment down below and tell me your opinions because I would love to hear what you have to say. And check out my other Hamburg related content, it's down below and also at the end of this video. So, bye! Thank you so much for watching this video and also a special thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys helped me create green zero waste content and I love you guys. You can find the links to my social media accounts down below and the link to my Patreon on this screen. Bye!